solution. Iodine. Iodine solution. Great. Then the test for reducing sugars. What solution? The Benedict solution. All right. Test for proteins. The Benedict test. Okay. And then the last one is the fats. Where we're going to use ethanol. Test. Okay. I'm going to cut the apple. Right. A little piece off the apple. Okay, there we go. And then just take some paper towel and then just press it firmly so I can take up all the uh, sap that's on here. Okay, cool. And then we will take a piece of potato. Right, and then just the bread. Okay, now these tubes contain three milliliters. Okay, I can take up, up to three milliliters. So we're going to take the iron solution, and I'm actually just going to put about four or five drops on each specimen. Okay, the apple. Potato, and then the bread. Okay, you can see, if you look at the bread, you can clearly see that there is a difference in color, right? It changed to a very dark black, blue black, right? So if it changes to dark blue black, then we know the starch is presence, presence of uh, starch. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, starch. This um, thing is not working. Now. All right, and here's the apple. So there's no starch in the apple because it stays a brown color. Okay, I don't know if the people in the back can see that clearly. And here is the potato. The potato also turns a dark uh, blue black color. All right. Burek test. Now, the problem here is that we don't have this burek solution. We, we actually have a little bit. It's over here. Burek solution. But it's turned a very ugly color. <laughs> All right. It's too old. We've tried it yesterday and it doesn't work. So, what are we going to do? What's the alternatives that we're going to take? We're going to take Sodium hydroxide, okay? We're going to take sodium hydroxide and we're going to take copper sulfate. Right, so 1% of copper sulfate and then 5% of sodium hydroxide. Now, the sodium hydroxide is corrosive and that's actually why I've got the gloves on. All right, so before we do that, we need to get our specimens. So we take a test tube. And I've got in this um, green container here on the desk, I've got some egg, uh, egg white. Okay. Right, that's enough. And then what we do, like I said, We're going to take some sodium hydroxide and then also copper sulfate. Remember, copper sulfate is smaller amount than the sodium hydroxide. Okay. 
Okay, you can, guys can see the light blue color. Can't see in the back. I'm sorry about that. There's a light blue color. Kids here in front can see. Reducing sugars, right? Using the Benedict solution. Woo! <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so what I'm going to do for control for this one. So control, I'm going to take egg white, the protein. And for control, egg white. Just to show you. Okay, there we go. Squeeze the living dingers out of this. The apple juice here. Okay, apple juice, and then we've got tomato. Tomato. There we go. Benedict solution. All right. How many milliliters of Benedict solution do I need to add? Four milliliters. Well done. Four milliliters. Okay. So this one contains three milliliters. So I'm going to take three plus one is four. Here we go. Come by, yeah, 85, so it's a little bit, it's smaller than some part, okay? 85 here, and we measure the temperature over here, and we've got to take my control, put it in, control, egg white, and here we go with the rest, okay? Now, why do we heat up the water again? Speed up the chemical reaction. Speed up the chemical reaction. Well done, guys. Super proud of you. Okay, here we go. This, I think I could have added a little bit too much water, but we'll check this. So this is the first one I'm placing in here. And what's quite full is the sugar, table sugar. Then this one over here was the apple juice. You can already see the apple juice is turning into a green color. Then we've got... Oh, uh, tomato. And then lastly, mango. You can see mango is turning. Right, of course, mango juice was um, <laughs> what a yellow color and it's turning green now. Okay, so. Right, the test for protein. Purple, dark purple. Then, um, The test for reducing sugars. You can see this red brick. Okay. Clearly. And this one very dark. Almost maybe brown dark. It's also red in there, green. So it does work. It just takes a lot of time. Okay. And then for the last test, what is the last test based on? Okay. What is the last test? Test for? Yes. Right.